Hi guys, welcome back to the Architecture Insider. Today we have a video about urban analysis diagrams. Now I'm studying architecture and in my second year of architecture school, we did a whole module about urban design. Now I have done a full report with many, many small topics like this one, which is a noise reduction. Now, if you guys would like me to go through the full analysis report, let me know in the comment section below. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, this diagram is about noise levels and understanding where most noise comes from and where it's little noise so that we can control these noise and add noise barriers. So first of all, we are getting a map of the site. Now, this map, what I've done is I got it from AutoCAD and exported it as a PDF and import it into Photoshop. Now what I then did is create a new background which is black because I wanted to have red and black. So first of all I changed the background and turned it black. This was on a new layer. Now I then made the layer of the lines all in white so that it stands out. So I then highlighted all the roads and the buildings to create a difference so that it's not all black, it doesn't all look like one thing. There's a different shade. can see um, using the brush tool to create a little bit of a light gray around now. for the actual noise diagrams itself I created these little circles and made them solid red then I created another circle but made it only the outline red and I duplicated it, duplicated it, duplicated it, duplicated it. then kept a copy in the corner just so that I can copy that instead of keep copying the ones that I changed. Places where it's full noise going all around I made it a full circle. When there is noise going into a specific direction because it's a tunnel or because of two walls creating a noise in a specific direction I used semicircles. Now I then duplicated this. And
red not so bold on the image. I used the erase tool and just erased a few areas here and there. I then played around with the opacity to make sure everything fits together and that the red doesn't overpower the whole image or that the gray doesn't either, that it all fits harmoniously together. level diagram i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want me to do more of these diagrams please let me know in the comment section below i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time